Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. And today's review is another one of J.C. Newman's Upper End Cigars, the Diamond Crown Natural Number no. Seven. This is a fine-looking cigar, six and three fourths by fifty-four. There's the density. Now this cigar was originally made to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the J.C. Newman Company back in 1995. Stanford Newman and Carlos Fuente Sr. Got together, got together to develop this cigar. At the time, in the early 1990s, the largest uh, cigar ring was around 50 or 52, but uh, Stanford decided that every Diamond Crown cigar should be made with a 54 ring, uh, allowing cigar rollers to blend six to seven individual tobacco leaves together, delivering the richest yet most consistent full flavor possible. That's his words. Anyway, he was one of the first ones to come out with a 54 ring gauge. Now this is a Connecticut shade wrapper, obviously a Dominican binder and the filler, it says selection of five different fillers from the Caribbean and Central America. And I think that's key because that's where most of our flavor is going to come from. Now, that's sort of the long and the short of it. It's, of course, a well-made cigar. Uh, look at its heritage. You got Newman's and you got Fuentes. It's, it's not going to be shabby, but it's very nice, very sharp, impressive. And, of course, the band is uh, known worldwide. So let's get right to it. The Diamond Crown Natural. Number seven. Well, that thing won't be an issue is cutting the cap. Now, I try to take as little as possible to get that concentrated flow. So let's take about a quarter inch and see what we have. Uh, that's, that's good. It's good right now. Now, as you know, as a cigar smokes, it tends to close the opening that you draw through. So if that gets too tight, I'll open it later. But right now it's fine. It is a very nice citrusy cedar. There is a very pronounced citrus with pronounced cedar following it. A lot of brown sugar, cinnamon, even some nutmeg, some uh, orange peel, cream, quite a bit of cream to blend throughout the cigar, and a black coffee base right at the very base of all of those flavors a white pepper at about seven and a half so that's how you start it's a very nice sweet start and uh the connect the connecticut wrapper gives it a nice cream influence so good start so let's see what we have in the first third the first third look at that ash holy mackerel does that look good and look at the burn line it's almost perfect that is nice looking now the flavors are exactly like they started 
had several of these, believe it or not, and uh, they all act and perform the same so far. Very nice citrus with some cedar and plenty of brown sugar and cinnamon. And, uh, even the nutmeg is very manageable, but it's sown throughout there. The cream. <laughs> now, the coffee is almost an afterthought. It is just a wee bit right at the base of all the flavors. And I would call the cigar basically mild to medium. It's, it's, um, anybody can smoke this cigar. You're not smoking this Diamond Crown for power, you're smoking it for flavor. The finish is a little short, but it's a little white pepper. Remember, we're white pepper now. And a touch of cream. And not a lot else. But the cigar, the front end flavors are just so good. Have you had one of these? Or has it been a while? It's, um, it would be considered an upper end price range cigar at around $18 to $20. Okay, so it's not... You know, it's not an everyday cigar for most of us, but uh, definitely it could be a celebratory type cigar. But the first third, I'd rate it 93. It is spectacularly sweet and good. And again, you're not looking for power out of this cigar because you're not going to get it. But you'll get some really good flavors. So let's see if we have any changes or transitions through the second third. into the second third and let's say hello to coffee the black coffee decided to come awake and rise up now your flavor notes are about the same but the coffee by its presence has taken some of those sweeter notes away medium body we'll call it Finishes now. Some of the citrus notes, but minor amounts and some nutmeg type flavors. And maybe just a touch or two of cream with very nice lingering white pepper. I'm sticking with white pepper here, folks. But the cigar remains very good. It's very elegant, very good. 92 for the second third. The elevated coffee notes in this case took away from those slightly, took away from those nice sweeter notes. They, there's just, they were overblown with nice citrusy cedar and brown sugar. Very nice. But it, they had to dip a little bit. There's only so much room in the, in the room and coffee takes up some of it. Still very good though. So let's just see what we have at the end of the third. Third. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Cigar didn't change much from the second to the final third. There's a toffee type flavor which in there now. You still have the elevated coffee and it really came a little more in line. But uh, the front end flavors of the citrusy cedar and brown sugar were a little muffled because of the coffee. And now the toffee's in there. So it really helped stabilize it. Medium body. The finish is unchanged. But it's very good cigar. I'm rating it 92 for the final third. Definitely put it in your celebratory cigar list. Really nothing bad to say about it. Again, you don't buy it for the power. You buy it for the flavor. And it's got 
very nice flavors. Overall score is 92.33. Very good cigar. J.C. Newman, Diamond Crown Natural, number seven. Very good cigar. So there you have it. The Diamond Crown Natural, number seven, 92.33.